everyone, welcome to littlecraftingyourday.com. My name is Tanner Bell and in today's DIY tutorial we are going to be DIYing this deer head that I found at my local Hobby Lobby store. This is a super cool, um, you know, piece and I want to decorate it for my bedroom because I have been redoing my room to do like a uh, orange and black theme. So I'm going to do a base coat of white and then I'm going to splatter paint which is a super cool technique that I want to talk to you all about later in the video where you just literally take the paint and splatter it on. It's a super easy technique and I did this for a couple projects and they've all turned out amazing. I have a whole splatter painting video but I really wanted to splatter paint this deer. So let's jump into it. First I'm going to take some white paint. Now I would recommend spray painting this just because it would take up so much, it would be so much easier. But I don't have any white Krylon spray paint today because I am such a um, spray paint addict that I use it a lot. That I'm having to use fabric paint and hopefully it'll work on this paper mache. So paper mache is like a nice thing to use when you're needing, um, you know, it's very lightweight. It's not like wood, but it's able to be painted on. You can like do a lot of mixed media with it. You can DIY these. So I really just really love paper mache and they're very inexpensive. This deer was never buy paper mache a full price for one. Always buy it when it's 50% off and this white will have to have two coats on it but if you spray paint it the two coats will go by so much quicker. So I'm just going to paint this whole thing, give it two coats and then we'll come back. Okay guys, so I'm back. I gave about two coats of white paint on here. I didn't want it to be super uh, thick of just white. I like the like sort of the wood, the wood, which is paper mache like we talked about before, shining through just a little bit, but the splatter paint will totally fix this for mostly. What you'll need is just two colors of paint. Now you can add some water to it. I don't think we'll need any water to water this down just because it's a very you know sort of thin splattery effect of paint and I think we won't have a problem with it I hope I just be careful like about your shirt don't wear anything super nice um I don't want to get this one too dirty I think I already have white paint all over it my mom will be mad at me but we'll figure it out so what you want to do is to take the paint and I'm going to put I want to, my deer is a little bit taller than I am so I'm going to stand up on this chair and you just want to sort of splatter. So what I mean by splatter is just go like this. Yeah, we need to water it down. So what I'm going to do is to grab some water. I conveniently have a pitcher of water right here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add it to our paints. You only need a little bit of water to water down your acrylic paints because it is very um, watery anyway. So you just want to sort of stir this together. Okay guys, what we're going to do now is after I've just added a little bit of water, we are just going to literally splatter. So you just want to sort of shake your paintbrush onto your item. Now this is a little different than what I'm normally splattering. I normally do larger items, but this is going to be a very interesting look just to have um, an orange and black and white look on here. And you just want to sort of splatter it. And please be careful of your clothing. I'm actually going to recommend you wear like an apron or something on or you know whatever you have will work. I added some craft cardstock to my area just to make sure that I wouldn't get my countertop messy and I'm just splattering. Okay so here is what it is looking like now. Um, you've, you know you've started your splattering. I don't want to use too much orange too fast. Now I'm going to switch out for a black and I sort of splattered some of the orange in there too but that's okay. Okay so I just switched to one of my crafting shirts. Uh, I use this in the craft room a lot so I wanted to make sure that I didn't ruin my shirt too much more and since I was painting with white fabric paint I don't think it'll come out of my nice shirt but luckily I got it on sale so I'll just buy another one so it's not a big deal. Um, but now we're just continuing to splatter. I love the effects here. I have did a splatter paint frame. I've did splatter paint posters. I've did splatter paint t-shirts over on faithcrafts.com. I've did so much splattering and it's just so much fun. Like literally, this is all it is. Now, it is a little bit cold outside, I know, but splattering outside is definitely nice on a warm winter day. There's not many warm winter days here, 
but if you live in California where it's 60 degrees practically every day, it's really nice. Okay guys, here's the finished product. Hope you guys enjoyed. I am going to mount this on in my room after it dries and I'm going to clean up my craft studio because it is a little messy now with paint literally everywhere. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed today's project. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more DIY tutorials each week and as always, check us out at alittlecraftingyourday.com. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!